Hello friends, so today what we're going to do is a quick coding interview question in JavaScript. This one's uh, the anagrams algorithm and basically what we want to do, uh, these are the two test cases that we have right here. We want to see, like an anagram is comparing two strings to see if they have the same number of characters within them. So for example, if you have a string that says uh, uh, the house and then you have another string that's uh, that's just jumbled up like e s o u h h e t those should both those should be anagrams of each other because they have the exact same number of letters within them you'll notice that this one has a space in it right here so we would still want that to to return true and if it had for example, like an exclamation point right here, we would we would want to not take into account the exclamation point in the spaces. So we're going to have to clean our strings up, uh, so they will be able to be only reading the uh, the characters and not the punctuation or the spacing. Okay, so we're going to have to create when you're whenever you're comparing two strings, one way to go about solving the problem is to create. Uh, kind of character maps uh, with objects to compare the two strings um, and we'll also have to work with regular expressions a little bit um, if you don't know about regular expressions it'll just be a small it'll only be a little bit so it won't be too uh, complex I don't think so uh, we're gonna have to build two functions here you don't have to but it's probably the best way to do it so let's do a first one um, and we'll just call this one anagrams and it will take in a string A and a string B, so two arguments. And then within that, the first thing that we want to do is make a character map for each one of those. So we'll go A car char map equals, and this is where we'll call our second function. We'll call build car map, and we'll do that for string A, and we'll also do it for string B. Copy paste that. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this this method right here, build character map. So what we want to be able to do is basically take in a string, create an object hash with it to to be able to count the keys and the values of each character within that string passed in. So we'll just go function uh, build char map, and that will take in a string. And we'll start it off as an empty object. We'll just go char map uh, equals empty object. And then what we want to do is go for let char. And whenever you're iterating using this new for this new for syntax in ES6, if you have objects, you want to go for variable in whatever. Uh, uh, for variable in for char in char map. When you're doing like a string, you would say of instead of in. So for in for objects. For char in oh well since since we're working with a string it would be of. So for char of string. And here's where we'll have to use our regular expression. So basically we wanna get all the spacing and punctuation out of this string and we want to make it uniform so it'll have to be lowercase because we don't want it to take into account casing so example if this t down here was capitalized we we still want it to return true and i understand that these strings down here look kind of funky but that's kind of the point of it so uh, in order to do all that we would just call the replace method and then we would use our regular expression with inside that uh, so regular expressions are pretty uh, syntactically pretty rough to read. So um, they're uh, the the this is just a really small one. So we would just go caret symbol slash w, and then on the other side we would want to wrap the within this we want to wrap it in an array. So I should have put that in there. So. Then on the outside, you'd want to put a G right there, and you would want to replace it with empty string. And then we would to lower case the entire string. Cool. So now we'll go 
basically we'll take the char map which is empty right now we'll go char map at the char that we're passing in right here which should be lowercase and should not be a punctuation or anything like that char map at char is going to equal char map at char if it exists we'll add one to it or we'll initialize it at one so what this line of code is doing here is saying char map at char is going to equal char map at char plus one if it already exists or we're going to initialize it at one if it doesn't exist and then we'll just return char map down here so that it, our build char map function uh, should be working right here so let's go there and so once we've built character maps for the A and B string that have been passed in uh, what we would want to do first is to check to make sure that the character maps, the links of the keys, are the same. If they're not, we can just short circuit and automatically return false. So let's go if, and uh, in order to get the keys, just go object dot keys of uh, a char map, and then we'll call the dot length method on that. So if the length of the keys are not equal, and do the same thing for B, keys, B, char map, dot length. So if the lengths aren't the same, we'll return false. Right? So then we'll do a for loop. We'll go for, and now since we're working with objects, we'll go let char since it's an object, it will be in, let char in a char map. So once we have that, that character, we can say if uh, a char map at char, again, is not equal to b char map at char, so if those are not equal, we'll return false as well. And so if they are equal and it passes all that, we'll return true. All right, let's see if this works, catch any errors, and then I'll walk through the code. So let's go to node, and we'll go node anagrams. Okay, cool, so we uh, keys, not key. Okay, so it does return true for this case right here. So what it's doing is it's stripping out all of these and it's stripping out all of these spaces and it's lowercasing this T. And then here it's doing the same, right? So even if these were mixed up in order, like it said EHT with a bunch of spaces and an exclamation point, that should still pass. And it does return true. Now, if you put another E here, then this one would have two E's and this should return false. Okay, cool. So basically let's walk through this. You're starting out an anagrams function. You take in two strings. You make character maps out of those two strings by calling the build character map method. Then you build the character map method down here. And basically it starts out as an empty object. Then it goes through the string that you pass in it takes out all of the spacing and punctuations, it takes out everything that's not a, an alphabetical character, and then it lowercases everything. So then you compare the, you, you, you don't compare, but you build a character map out of all the characters that are left. You go character map at character with the key of character is equal to character map with the key of character plus one. If it doesn't exist and you can't add one to it, it's going to initialize it with one. That's what this or one right here means. And then you return that. Once it's returned, these are fine up here. The A char map and B char map are fine. So then you compare the key links. So object.keys A char map dot link. If that is not equal to object keys at B char map dot link, we just short circuit and return false and don't go with any, anything else. If they are the same link, then we compare to make sure that they're the same characters. So for and since this is an object that you're working with and you're using the for in syntax, for char in a char map, if a char map at char is not equal to b char map at char, return false. 
else return true for everything? So uh, it's a pretty good little question. The main functionality is the uh, takeaway is the building of character maps. That's basically what this is. You're building two character maps for strings that are passed in and then you're comparing them. So that's pretty applicable for, you know, kind of coding interview questions and stuff. So hope it helped. Take it easy.